Leesburg Band gets an $8,000 donation for a new truck. For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Lori Davis. After a crash destroyed Leesburg High School's band truck, Kids Rock the Nation, a national music education nonprofit ran by a 1978 Leesburg graduate, made the donation. The Lake County Clerk of the Circuit Court is honoring U.S. military veterans and active duty personnel during the month of November by offering free passport photos. The first season of the Lake Sumter State College cross country team is coming to a close as a pretty successful season. Two runners, William Troop and Alexander Croy, both qualified for the national championships that will be held in November in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The city of Eustis is now a designated Purple Heart City, which means the city supports veterans wounded or killed in action. A Purple Heart flag was hung this week at the Eustis Police Department in honor of the designation. The Claremont Police Department collected 27 guns this week at the annual Kicks for Guns campaign. During the campaign, residents hand over guns with no questions asked in exchange for Walmart gift cards. In total, over 300 guns were collected across Central Florida. Lake County has launched a two-year plan to accelerate countywide road resurfacing projects and immediately address decaying roads. The plan will allow the county to repave 63 miles of the poorest condition roads as well as 28 miles of roads that are in slightly better condition. For more local news, check out dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Lori Davis. Production support for News in 90 is made possible by Leesburg Regional Medical Center, celebrating 55 years of healthcare excellence in our community. When it comes to your health, it's easy to feel alone. But with us by your side, you never are. We're your neighbors, familiar faces. We're experts and friends. We're more than just a hospital. We're part of the community, and we're always here wherever life takes you. Leesburg Regional Medical Center, by your side.